Whether or not you agree or disagree with my top 10, that doesn't really matter for this video because in the top 10 current strongest people in the verse right now, wherever you have them rank, ordered, whatever, people are sliding in darling, darling, mm. darling. Garling, bro. I, I just watched the, the most recent episode showing at the first appearance of Garland in the anime. Bruh. Bruh, there's no better way they, they could have, like, showed them for, for the first time in the anime. They literally showed them in the seat, like, as in the manga, in the seat with that the, the Supreme Blade, I'm, I'm guessing it is, sitting all cool. And think about it, he killed a Celestial Dragon. Well, wait, I, I think it's confirmed. I don't know if it's confirmed or not. But he has a, a, such a dragon on the cross, all uh, bloody and everything, bro. Fingling and Garland, bro. He, he's him, bro. He's he going to be somebody to like to reckon with. Definitely an endgame type character, bro. Definitely. See you, Garling. Why I do that, I have no idea. Don't worry about it. Listen. Look, listen. Quick little PSA. I do am episode reactions, show reactions, movie reactions, all live on my Patreon. Then they're edit uploaded to my Cole San YouTube channel. I do my manga biblically. He executed mm. Neo's guard, crucified, and here he is chilling all comfortable talking about why racism is good. <laughs> Prejudice comfort is crazy. He said discrimination is a comfort, bro. This is a green bull. He a coon, bro. That's why green bull. He ain't really respecting the one piece world, man. He's strong and all. He an admiral, but he ain't really respect like that, man. Fuji though, he barely respect him, bro. Like look at his actions. Free stability, but times two squared. Stand up for subhuman scum, the fishman, Shirahoshi, and you sink even lower. That's why Mio's guard, you get crucified, and all of these social dragons in the area are having a good time partying like it's a fantastic cookout. Crazy, the man. block party of block parties. So his staying was already high from that. But then we see in 1096, we see the God Valley flashback from Kuma's perspective, and Garling was there. He understood who was coming. He knew that it was the Rocks Pirates and the Roger Pirates were pulling up. He told the Marines, hey, yo, stand back, bro. He literally told the Marines that are in the area, have their ships pull back, have these Marines guard these. Shop hundreds of discounted vehicles at markdodge.net and get delivery today. Celestial Dragons, while we, the Holy Knights, we, the Holy Knights, are going to take care of business. There have been a lot of takes, propositions, theories, that Garland gave a scar to Whitebeard during the God Valley incident, which is why when Shanks and Whitebeard have their discussion in the pre-time skip, he says that seeing you makes my scar ache. Now, mm. uh, the first thought, you can argue probably the correct thought, because my guess here is that at that point in time, Oda didn't have Garland in mind as a character. But the first thought could have been, well, he means Goldie Roger, obviously, because Shanks was a member of the Roger Pirates, and in many ways, Shanks does emulate Goldie Roger. I mean, for goodness sakes, he has the divine departure. So, of course, Shanks emulates Goldie Roger. Mm -hmm. But then Garling squeaks his head on in with his little crescent moon, with his little, like, you know, fin hairdo, and, and it could be Garling. It could be Garling that actually fought against Whitebeard mm. when he was a part of the Rocks Pirates and actually scarred him and that scar still... I mean, if Garland fought Whitebeard, bro, it, 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 all make him, like, it means that he's Jocko level, bare minimum. And that, that was like Whitebeard in his younger days, which means like he was more his prime. And I mean, Garland was in his prime too, like more in his prime. That's, that would be crazy. That's actually true. Confirm. That would be kind of crazy. Prime right way versus Garland. Bruh. Garland, bruh. He powerful, bruh. We just haven't seen it yet. It's to this day. So you can see how over the course of time, the Garland stocks have improved. And now here we are in the latest chapter 
again 1125 the year is 2024 and check this poll out right here i had a tweet about it because i thought it was kind of nuts i picked garling on a whim honestly i'll be with you mm -hmm. but bro wait what who is stronger garland or akino mm. i mean the go to is gonna be garland because he's a he's the supreme commander of the holy knights and if the theory is confirmed, he fought White Bear in his prime. And kind of he struggled with Old Bear. Like, come on now. Of course, Garland gonna be stronger than Kainu. Oh, you see these numbers? Who is stronger, Figurland Garland or Akainu? The person I have currently ranked number six in the strongest characters right now in the story, and based on. 50,000 votes. Galling is not only stronger than a Kainu, he's damn near diffing him. He has him lapped. It's 78% to 22. Mm. I mean, bro. It's 78% to 22. It, it. <laughs> I am having a very bad day. <laughs> I'm in no mood. Is it premature? Beyond belief, yes. And there is a good case, considering how much a Chur Oda wanks off a Kainu at times with Vaseline, because he Man. said that if a Kainu was the main character in these blue, he would find the One Piece treasure in like a year or two. I was like, bro, what? I mean, I mean that's wank with Vaseline. Like, goddamn, bro. And slow. He did it slow down. I just want to get to know. I need to stop, yeah. bro. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay. considering all of the hype that Oda gives to Kainu, there's a good chance that Akainu could be even stronger than Prime Garp. Oh. Now, whoa. Whoa, 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 we'll whoa. save that debate for another day. Oh, However. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm about to say. I'm about to say. Ain't no way. Akainu being stronger than Garp. Being stronger than Prime Guard is a crazy take, bro. Come on now. Have me a crazy take. <laughs> it is undeniable that Akainu is a strong dude, whether you support the desk jockey lifestyle or not. He's a strong dude. Garling being perceived to be stronger than him by at least 50,000 people who voted. That's crazy. That's nuts. And I feel like... It's not just because of the aura, but it's also the implication of Garling being a member now of the five elders, the Goro say. Because the vibe check, and this is an aura thing for sure, the vibe check is, hey, this is no longer the five elders. It's Frigaland, Garling, and the elders, right. Right? right? That's how studly Garling is. The elders that so many folks had on this insane pedestal, that I would argue were, they were taken down a few notches in this arc. I'll personally argue that. Garling. Garling is ahead of all the elders. So even though he's a part of their clique, the Garling agenda is not the elder agenda. And I can see why. Obviously, the Figurland ties. The Figurland ties that we saw in Film Red, where it is very likely that Shanks is a Figurland family member, which is scary Ooh. in of itself, considering how like two people in this family are likely extraordinarily busted. Oh, this gets extra scary. The Figurland family could, honest to God, be the Ackermans of the One Piece world. With a relative like Shanks that has comparable hockey to Joy Boy and Figurland guarding himself, who is not only a five elder right now, and he's gonna be in charge of York. So all of the scientific knowledge that York has is gonna be going under guarding supervision. And keep in mind that he is the godhead of science and defense. So the Holy Land going through some major security and equipment defensive buffs over the next few arcs makes a lot of sense. But also, he is, maybe was, the supreme commander of the Holy Knights. Right. The very same group that literally Monkey D. Dragon, another top 10 caliber character in the story, at least in theory, has said that it is when the Holy <laughs> Knights mobilize. It is when, 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 not if, when the Holy Knights mobilize like Autobots, it's only then does the real battle take place. 
that's a lot of sauce on the Holy Knights. Mm. But we saw again in the God Valley flashback, we had Garling, we had that one girl with black hair, and then we had Bohemian Grove. Uh, them along with the other Holy Knights were gonna lead the charge against the Rocks Pirates and the Roger Pirates, albeit the Roger Pirates not in their primes, yeah, but nonetheless, bro, hello? That is a fat check mark, a big fat W on your resume, undeniably. Even if, let's say, for example, the other elders have fought against very powerful people in their lives before they became members of Emu's clique. Let's say even Venus Juro fought against Ryoma. That's a popular theory out there. Mm. Garling's encounter. I mean, an elder versus Ryoma? That would be a good little story, man. I mean, we saw how strong he was in Egghead, too, in the manga. With the Rocks Pirates and the Roger Pirates, that clears. Until we get more context, well, let's say, for example, Garling just fought against some random fodder of each crew. But until that's proven to be the case, his God Valley encounters clear what the other elders have been through. I'm willing to bet. But then it's very, very likely that it was Emu who contacted Garling to replace Saturn because Saturn had failed in his duty. He let the Joy Boy, the Nika, the Luffy, the massive Nika D escape. All right, Saturn is ass. So let's get Garling in. That means that Emu has enough confidence and faith in Garling to easily, just like that, fill in the role for Saturn. Emu, who many folks peg to be, not in that way, but you know what I mean. Emu, who a lot of folks think is going to be the final villain of the story. Right. That very same Saint Emu of Nero Nach has that much faith in Garling. And one of the things that seems very clear now is that the powers of the five elders, their mortality factor, their demon forms of the Gyuki, Itsumade, mm. Hokai, or Fang Si. Just look at all the, the ancient transformation they have, bro. Look at the elders, bro, and their in the zone, the mythical zone forms, bro. That is crazy. And this is supposed to be the, the world government who's who, who supposed to be like the, the quote unquote good guys. Well, behind closed doors, <laughs> they have demons, bro. <laughs> they have demons running the, the world government and the marine. Come on now. And they call Luffy a bad guy. <laughs> they call Shanks a bad guy. Sheesh. Chinese, I believe, the sandworm and the Bokotsu that we see in the Planetfall chapter 1110. Those forms were granted to them likely by Emu. Garling may get the very same powers that Saturn had, the Gyuki powers, or get his own unique powers from Emu. And with that probably comes what? Everlasting life. There has been this worry about Garling let's say, like the other older dudes in the story One Piece. Many of them have stated, espoused the idea that their powers have waned over time. Rayleigh has done that a few times. Yep. Garb has done that a few times. Yep. So has Don Chinjao. But over the course of time, their powers are not the same as they used to be in their youth. And they get slow. I mean, it's gonna, like, it's gonna come any way. Like, any way possible, because, like, the older you get, the less powerful you get. So, like, regard right now, he's still Admiral level, but... You know, as strong as he used to, as his prime, going against Roger, Whitebeard, Shiki, all in the primes. So it's pretty natural, bro. Lower as they get older. Low and old. Slow and old. It's the nature of the beast, but maybe not the beast that is the current figure land, Garling. Right. Aha. There's a very good chance that Garling now, because of his everlasting life that he's gave from Emu, very likely, has his prime powers. He has his prime physique. The same things he could do at his youth, he could do now. He's probably gained a busted ability from Emu itself. Mm. So Garling is probably stronger now than when he was when he fought against Gold D, Roger, and Rocks, these Yo. potentially, and Whitebeard, and the Rocks Pirates, and so on. And the Imagine we got that panel, like anime wise, like it was in an anime. That would have been crazy. Roger going against Zebig. Garp going against Kaido. Rayleigh against Big Mom. Come on, man. That would have been a crazy matchup, bro. 
Just imagine. The gold line, Cheeky and Rayleigh and Scott and all those guys. He is stronger now than he was at his peak powers. Let's say that wasn't his peak. Let's say his peak was after Gar Valley. Like, okay, fair enough, fine. Wherever that peak was, he's stronger now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Figurland Gong agenda is crazy. It's nuts. It's astronomical. It's in the future gonna be a bloody mess for damn sure. Something that Billy Butcher from The Boys would absolutely love and appreciate. However, is it without merit? Obviously, we don't know the facts just yet. We'll see in the future how these things play out. But given all the things I just said now, Garling is probably a top 10 dude. He has way more onus to be in the top 10 than the other elders. Absolutely. He has way more onus to be in the top 10, yep. potentially even over a Kainu. Yes, even over a Kainu. Than the other elders, where I know. And yes, I know someone's gonna say, well, Saturn was on God Valley too. What did he even do? Did he? He was focused on a young Kuma. He was bullying little kids rather than fight against the strongest people on the planet. Right. Given the possibilities, the very likely ones, not, not the far out ones, but the very likely ones that's going to come soon, Garland could be among this ilk right now. Absolutely. But I do want to see what you actually do, and then we can actually make a solid statement on Garland. But that could take years. Knowing Oda, maybe even decades, but I will be here nonetheless. <laughs> and honestly, we kind of do the same thing for Dragon already. Dragon has barely any feats, maybe like one wind cannon in the ASL flashback in the Goa Kingdom junk terminal. So if that's all we have for Dragon, the dude is nigh feetless. <laughs> He's nigh feetless. So, I mean, if we can treat Dragon this way, then Garland can get some love too. Let me know your stance on the video. Dragon might be, he for sure might have a, a win or a storm type number for another theory that Garland, it's a theory that he has a mythical wolf fruit. It's, it's his own fruit, but the model is going to be like a wolf fruit, like a white wolf. Because his hair is shaped like the moon. And what, and what animal needs a full moon? A wolf. And it, it's like a, a running, a running attire that all the elders have like a mythical zone fruit. That's, that's the animal. Like the, the worm, the, the horse, the pig, the bird. It's like Garnet might have a mythical wolf fruit, man. Kind of kind of like similar to like Yamato fruit. It's like the one she has.